Hmm, the next case. Of the two salesmen, X claims that he has made large sales than Y. For the accounts examined, which were comparable for two salesmen, the results were as follows. Number of sales by X10 and by Y17. Average size of sales by X6200 kilograms and by Y 5600 kilograms. Standard deviation of X is 690 kilograms and that of Y 600 kilograms. Do these two average sizes of sales fig figure differ significantly? Explain your answer. But carefully read the words in the beginning of the question. Of the two salesmen, X claims that he has made large sales than Y. That means this is the case of one tail test. Average sales of X is greater than the average sales of Y. That we have to consider at the time of writing or determining the alternative hypothesis. Okay, in null hypothesis, we are always, there is no significant difference between the two average sizes of sales. Got it? Yes, why it is one tail test. But before that, we have to calculate the S cap square. In this case, we will have to use the formula N1 minus 1 into 690, sorry, S1 square plus N2 minus 1 into S2 square upon N1 plus N2 minus 2. 10 minus 1 into S1 square, square of 690. Four seven six one double zero. Yes, four seven six one zero zero plus N2 minus 1, that means 17 minus 1 into square of 600. What is square of 600? 3 lakh 60,000 or 360 lakh, is it? 360,000 rather. Upon N1 means 10 plus N2 means 17 minus 2. See, this is nothing. This is degrees of freedom for this kind of test. Now simplify it. <coughs> 9 into 4 lakhs are 6100 plus 16 into 3 lakhs 60,000 all divided by 25. Now just give me the last value. <coughs> 401796. 401796 Now we can perform the test of hypothesis and this is the case of test of significance of difference between two means and case of t-test because according to the Indian author's approach size of the two samples is small and less than or equal to 29 as well as according to the other approach the population standard deviations are not known. So according to both the approaches, we have to use t-test. Null hypothesis. There is no significant difference
See, in null hypothesis, we have always to take no difference. This is also known as no difference hypothesis. The set of the difference between two meta parameters is null or empty. That's why it is called null hypothesis. It is also known as no, no difference hypothesis. We always take there is no difference between the two parameters. Whether it is sem uh, sample mean as well as population mean or mean of first population and mean of second uh, population or any other parameter. There is no significant difference in the average sales by the two salesmen. HO mu1 equals to mu2 or mu1 minus mu2 equals to 0. Now alternative hypothesis. And that is readily available from the question of the two salesmen X claims that he has made large sales than Y. So X has made large sales than Y. HA mu1 that means average sales of X is greater than mu2 that means average sales of X is greater than the average sales of why? So this is one tail test. Level of significance, no specific information. So we are going to take it 5%, alpha 0 0.05 and no need to divide alpha by 2 because this is case of one tail test. Degrees of freedom. In this case, there are two samples. So it is N1 minus 1 plus N2 minus 1. So simplified version is N1 plus N2 minus 2. That means 10 plus 17 minus 2, 27 minus 2, it is 25. On the basis of these two, we have to first find out the critical value of T. In the first column of degrees of freedom, take 25, that means row of 25 and column of 0 0.05. 1.708. T equals to x bar 1 minus x bar 2 minus mu1 minus mu2 equal uh, sorry all upon s cap square upon n1 plus s cap square upon n2 smaller the critical value tougher the test because as critical value becomes low the possibility of Calculated value greater than critical value increases. 6200 minus 5600 minus 0 upon under root 4,1796 divided by 10 plus 4,1796 divided by 17. 600 divided by again use memory 401796 divided by 10 equals to memory plus 4 like 1796 divided by 17 equals to memory plus then memory recall and then square root <coughs>
So T is positive and it is something more than 2. Point. 2.3751 3751 okay 3751 T calculated that we found 2.375 T critical that is 1.708 so T calculated is greater than T critical that means the null hypothesis is rejected. Null hypothesis is rejected. That means now we cannot believe that there is no significant difference in the average sales by the two salesmen. And that means argument of X is correct. Conclusion. Mu1 is greater than mu2 or average sales by X is greater than the average sales by why that means x has made large or rather larger sales than y